Hi everyone, today I have a um, Saturday Sharks themed nail polish video for you today. I have a little swatch wheel with a bunch of teal designs and I thought I would talk about them. Um, the Sharks home opener is tomorrow and so um, I cannot wait for it and I've been planning makeup all week and I am now going to show you all the possible things that I'm going to do with my nails. Um, I did nail art last year. I did a Conad stamp and then some um, other like teal and black stamping on my nails last year and so this year I'm just gonna focus on layering colors and glitter and um, I hope you guys like them. I have a ton of different nail polishes to show you um, first of all I'd like to show you which ones I use and then I'll show you um, my little layered um, polishes. Don't don't look at these ones down here. These are just holiday ones that I have on the same wheel as my like extra spaces to show you for the San Jose Sharks ones. So yeah, I will just show you the polishes that I used while I did these and um, I hope you guys enjoy. So the first one here is actually one that I really, really like and I layered a jelly black with um, holographic glitter and a teal glitter on top. Um, I did about two coats of each so this is about four coats of nail polish and then on top of that I um, put some just regular holographic glitter just to get a really nice um, depth in terms of glitter and color. So the colors that I used for that one are the Pa Nail Polish in A113 which is a jelly black with holographic glitter. Um, it's got two different types of glitter in it just big pieces and little pieces and it's a really really pretty color. Um, and then the teal glitter that I use is Nubar's Teal Glitter, um, which is pretty much the teal glitter that I use all the time. I've used quite a bit of it. Um, and I, again, I layered each of those twice. And then I did a coat of OPI's Surfing Up Sparkle on top, which is a multi-sized holographic glitter as well. And again, that is the end product of the teal and black layering. Very, very pretty. It's probably going to be the one that I use on my like accent nail um, just because I can't stop looking at it and I love it. The next one, which is right here, is um, Servin' Up Sparkle and Teal Glitter layered um, with each other with no black in between. So that is what both of those look like layered together. Again, I alternated Servin' Up Sparkle and Teal Glitter uh, twice to get this outcome. So it's a nice just glittery holographic ball of fun. This one right here is a teal base, a teal cream base with a flaky nail polish, a teal glitter, and a holographic glitter on top of that. So the teal cream glitter that I used is this one, which is called C Ski Teal We Drop by OPI, which was from last year's Swiss collection. It's a darker, um, very dark blue color. Actually, I can show you the back of the swatch and show you what the teal looks like. So right here is what that teal looks like on its own. And um, on top of that, I put Enfuo's number 40, which is a um, opalescent flaky nail polish, which looks like this. And then again, I used the teal glitter and the OPI Servant Up Sparkle. That one is absolutely gorgeous in person, and I'm probably going to use um, this one again. Um, for my other fingers because I just like how it turned out and how deep it looks and just how super super festive and sparkly it is. The next one I used a lighter cream teal color. Um, it's kind of more like a turquoise color and um, a flaky and then a small holographic glitter and the teal glitter. So the base that I used is um, Orly's Viridian vinyl, which dries to like a rubbery sort of look, but once you layer things on top, it doesn't really matter. Next, I used the same flaky as before, which is Enfuo's number 40. And then I did China Glaze's Fairy Dust, which is a finer holographic glitter. And then on top of that, I used the same Nubar's teal glitter. So that is what that one looks like right there. It's a lighter teal, um, again, with a lot of depth and glitter. And this is what the teal looks like on its own. It's, again, it's more like a turquoise color, I guess. This one right here was China Glaze's 
um, DV8 nail polish, which is a holographic turquoise color on its own. And then I layered some flaky and then some teal glitter and then some of China Glaze's fairy dust as well. This is what China Glaze's DV8 looks like. So it's a holographic um, nail polish on its own already. So even if you use it on its own and then do some black on top, it would be perfect for like the sharks or something. But um, I decided to go all out and decorate on top. This is what DV8 looks like on the back on its own. So next to that is Charla by Zoya, which is one of my favorite um, turquoise sh shimmery mermaidy color. It's a glass fleck color. And then on top of that, I layered some flaky and then some holographic and some teal as well. And this is what Zoya's Charla looks like right there. Perfect. One of my most used nail polishes as well. I absolutely love it. It came out with the sparkle collection. On this swatch, I made, um, I made sort of a turquoisey color. I started with a light blue cream and then layered a green based flaky and then some teal glitter and holographic glitter on top. The blue that I started with is OPI's No Room for the Blues, which is a light blue cream. And then I layered on top of that Enfuo's number 56, which is a green based flaky color, which looks like this. Very, very pretty and very deep colored. Um, it's got some duochrome in it too, which I really hope you guys will be able to see. If not, I'll have photos and swatches of everything in my blog so you guys can see that. And then I used the same um, holographic glitter, which is China Glaze Fairy Dust and the Teal Glitter by New Bar on top of this one, so that is what it looks like again. This one I love as well. It's OPI's Last Friday Night, and then on top of that is the Enfuo Flaky number 40, which is not the green-based one, it's just the clear one, and then teal glitter um, on top of that. So it's very, very pretty. It's also pretty sheer, very jelly-like, um, but it reminds me a lot of like a shellac um, manicure that you could get by CND, or one of those gel manicures that um, you see a lot that have that sort of effect. And this is OPI's Last Friday Night. So that's the blue base. And then on top of that again was this by Enfuo number 40. And then Nubar's Teal Glitter. And then China Glaze's Fairy Dust. So basically I just layered a lot of um, the same polishes over just different bases. Um, Again, I'll have photos and swatches of all of this in my blog. I can't wait to do this on my nails and um, go to the game and be really festive and stuff. As for makeup for the game, I'm gonna do the same makeup that I did last year, which is my San Jose Sharks um, makeup tutorial, which I'll link in the description box. Um, pretty much before every season and before playoffs start, I'm gonna have a video like this talking about all my favorite teal products. Um, ways to use them or just how I'm gonna do my makeup for them. So that's just why I have this video up today um, instead of like a real beauty video. Um, I am going to have a nail polish collection um, storage slash makeup storage video up soon. I have filmed it, um, so look out for that, as well as a perfume video. I have filmed that as well, and then another tutorial coming up soon, and then in between there I'll have um, probably my julep box video as well as my, um, my other haul and um, probably my Birchbox video. And so there's a good amount of videos coming up soon. Um, so yeah, I also am on the hunt for the OPI Muppets collection because it's started to come out in a couple of stores. So you guys will probably see those as well. Um, but yeah, that is just my blue, teal, super fun, mermaidy, flaky, San Jose Sharks nail themed video for today. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are liking the background a lot better than my previous backgrounds. Um, I just decided that this is a lot better because it's not as distracting, but it's not just a blank white background and, um, the lighting is better and I hope you guys are well. Have a good weekend and if you guys are going to the Sharks game, tweet me or something. Um, 
I'll link my Twitter in the description box. Um, if you're not going to the game, I hope you guys are watching at home and you guys have fun um, because Randy and Drew will be announcing and I missed them all summer and during the preseason. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are well and I'll see you guys soon.